and welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary box, providing expert analysis, is Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Nottingham Forest versus Manchester United. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. The starting 11 from Nottingham Forest then. Well, they've got a good front three and a solid back five, but with only two in midfield, they could get overrun. It'll be interesting to see who comes in to support them, if anybody. And here's the lineup for Manchester United. Thank you. Enjoy the game. And this confrontation is underway. Well, he could really get at the opposition. Throw-ins given. Scott McTominay. Here's Martial now. It's with McTominay. Rashford. Well, a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Well, there are many who regard Bruno Fernandes as the complete footballer. Stuart, what do you think we'll see from him today? Well, he's their leading goal scorer, mainly because of his movement, which is so clever. It's full of pace and it always threatens the back of defenders. And, of course, he's a great finisher. Plenty of options. Remo Freuler. An attack full of promise. Well, the keeper had a lot to do. Well, it's a great piece of goalkeeping. So quick off his line. Anthony Martial. Now Casemiro. Rashford. And can they prize them open now? Bruno Fernandes. And a goal! They start! as they mean to continue they make the opening statement well here's the goal again and what a wonderfully weighted pass this is and once he gets onto it he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique what an emphatic finish that is Underway once more, Manchester United have hit the front. Well, I believe there's been a goal at Stamford Bridge. Alex Scott can fill us in. Yes, it's a goal for Chelsea. It's now 1-0 with 15 minutes played. Thanks for the update, Alex. United might be able to cash in. Oh, he's given it away. Rashford. Scott McTominay. 
Just cutting off the supply. Niakate. Not a successful intervention, winning the ball back. Promising possession, this. And a throw in forthcoming. Really getting stuck in. Scott McTominay. Time for us to get an update from Alex Scott. I believe Alex has been a goal at the King Power Stadium. And it's a goal for Newcastle United. It's all even Stevens at 1-1 with 27 minutes played. Cheers, Alex. Aurier. The cross is on. Worrell. Now Aurier. And the timing was perfect. Ball won. Well, as you can see, United just haven't been able to dictate the pace of the game. But when they have had it, they've looked so dangerous, particularly when they press high up the field, win the ball back in those areas, and then counter-attack quickly. Bruno Fernandes. Well-timed tackle. Remo Freuler. Can they create something from here? Aurier and Johnson now making sure it didn't get past him clattered away crossing into the middle now keeper getting both gloves on the ball Rashford unable to hold it. Max Lowe. Well, we've almost reached the halfway mark here. Manchester United on top. Stuart, interested to get your thoughts so far. Well, it's been a tight game so far, but they've just had that little bit more quality on the ball, particularly in midfield, where they've just started to take control. They'll be fairly happy going in at half-time if it stays like this. Not getting anxious when they have the ball. Makes his way in field. It looks promising. An alert piece of defending. Rashford. Advantage, Manchester United. But no discernible advantage. And quite rightly, free kick awarded. Well, he can consider himself admonished even in the absence of a yellow card. If you're wondering about stoppage time, one minute to be added on. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. Scott McTominay. Casemiro. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. Well, that influential presence up to this point, Bruno Fernandes. What did you think of what you saw from him? Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first. And this confrontation is up. Second half underway, with United looking to build upon a largely positive first half showing. Bruno Fernandes. It's with McTominay. 
Bruno Fernandes has it. Rashford going about his defensive business with a minimum of fuss. Low. And it's Dennis. Strength and control, a big part of his game. Scott McTominay. Just a reminder, we have more absorbing action from the Premier League coming your way here on EA TV. It's Nottingham Forest facing Aston Villa. Scott McTominay. Well, they keep working away, looking for an opening. Casemiro. Rashford. Decent position. Read it superbly to take back possession. Well, as you can see, the hosts have had most of the ball, but their attacking play has been too slow, mainly due to a lack of movement of the front players. At some point, they have to threaten the space in behind the defenders, otherwise they're going to lose this. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Bruno Fernandes. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. And still danger here. Well, they can't quite take advantage in the end. Well, I don't think they've been at it today. But maybe, just maybe, that great save will inspire them now. Well, the timing was perfect. Ball one. So a half an hour remaining. Making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Being pressed and pressed high. And the cross is very much on. Is this the moment? And a goal to increase their advantage to two overall. That little bit of a cushion. Now it's all about keeping the concentration. Well, let's see this again. He tries to run out with the ball. He has the ball taken off of him. He's made the wrong decision. And suddenly the ball's in the back of the net. Terrible defending. Well, a second goal for them here. Johnson in possession. Splendid tackle and a throw in coming up. And we have more live Premier League action coming up for you soon on EA TV. It's Manchester United facing Brentford. Could reduce the deficit. And he does. There was hope for them despite the adversity they suffered earlier. Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect, but you do have to ask questions of the keeper. Could he have done better here? I think so. You can't be beaten at your near post like that. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the score. What's going to happen next? Scott McTominay. Well, just couldn't keep the ball. Well, we have news to bring you from the Leicester game. Alex Scott has the details. It's a goal for Leicester City. It was a poor, poor clearance. And it was far too easy for him after that. It's now 2-1 with 72 minutes played. Many thanks as ever, Alex. Bruno Fernandes. 
Now in the dying embers of the game, it looks as though the visitors have done enough. Stuart, your assessment? Well, it's been a really oh, good... Oh, they could point. be in here, Stuart. And there is the goal to make it a hat-trick. Excellence in finishing, there for all to see. Yeah, here's the set-up play. Well, it's a great little back heel, isn't it? And the finish is clinical. He just makes it look so easy, doesn't he? challenge in difficult circumstances Ericsson Casemiro 10 minutes to go then McTominay well read to ease the pressure Emmanuel Dennis. Well, a change to the scoreline in the Chelsea game. Let's get the news from Alex. It's a second goal for Chelsea. They've pulled ahead by two with just under 10 minutes to go. Thanks as always, Alex. Rashford. Scott McTominay. Casemiro might be able to get in behind the defence and let's give credit to the defending Emmanuel Dennis and Lingard Remo Freuler well that's a well-timed pass that is really alert defending just when the situation looked dangerous we will have three minutes of additional time at the end here did well to win the ball back Jesse Lingard Max Lowe on the ball. And that is the end of the game. It goes down as a United triumph. Their fans are going to be happy with this. Well, Derek, they were dominant in most aspects of the game, particularly in that midfield area. And they also looked threatening in the top third of the pitch. It's a really good result for them.